It's the Go Mike Podcast, where the mic is golden. This is a podcast. I'm your host, Mark Paul. And today, we got part two of Swifty Blue. So, Swifty Blue made it his business to link up with American Cholo and talk about, you know, what happened on the Bootleg Kev podcast and i believe that it's very 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 interesting how these two people come together so in my last video we we we, we go over the bootleg care video on how swifty blue say he don't want to sign with a black label just because it's owned by black people and he pulls up to a guy who has been making you know some buzz lately because of the tiger situation so i did a video about american cholo before so i'm gonna link that video right here right now boom i'm gonna link that video if you want to check it out and i basically point out the racial ways that the american cholo is he seems like he is anti-black um the american cholo is running around trying to act like he like blacks and act like he is respectful to blacks and, and 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 he's really not he's like really disrespectful to black people and i just think it's it's, it's interesting how these two people come together to have dialogue these two people that in, in the last month or so or, or or two weeks or so has made it uh made the public look at them as if they are racist these are two people that <clears throat> people are looking at sideways because of racial things and they come together to have dialogue and you know what they say birds of a feather flock together so but let's get into the video a little bit about that let's let's slow it down a little bit and let's talk about um the interview you did that you got a lot of backlash for and and i'll set the tone a little bit for it right yeah you better set the tone for it because we're looking at a guy that has made multiple racial like just just multiple racial things uh about black people he does not seem like he is a hundred percent cool with black people but he knows that if he's gonna do youtube he's gonna have to get along with us and he's gonna have to try to create dialogue so he don't have that image about himself but i believe deep down inside he don't like us if you go back and look at a lot of his old videos all of his old videos with his podcast with his homie sonny and i don't know the other guy name but in those videos in those old podcast videos from when he first started it just seems like he they always had black people in their mouth in a negative light it seemed like they could not have one podcast show without mentioning the blacks in a negative light and it just almost kind of like just seems like you know that podcast were was anti-black a lot of stuff they were saying i what i was getting from and i i, I think they're they're jealous of black people they're jealous of of the, the the impact that we have on their kids they're jealous of of the impact that they have that we have on 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 the world you know everybody follows behind what what we do we are like the trendsetter for what's cool and a lot of people a lot of a lot of hispanic don't like that because we got the attention of their kids you know a lot of growing up in la i i knew that a lot of hispanic females did not want to deal with black dudes because they were black because their parents would tell them don't mess with black people they i guess they were they were part of that rasa and i'm gonna do a video on that rasa uh uh, uh in the coming days but you know basically they they don't want for you know black people to 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 get mixed in with with their family and and i guess uh make their make their people black i guess i don't know but this american cholo guy he is known for his anti-black rhetoric and it, like i said it's strange that swifty blue a guy that is as that is anti-black label 
and him are 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 speaking. But let's continue. Saw it, and I I said, ah, oh, that's all I said. Oh. Sensitive it, timing. It was a, yeah. It was <laughs> we, we just timing. got off the the American Cholo oh, fucking thing, places. and yeah, all that stuff. Shout out to Tiger, man. You did <laughs> us a yeah. big one. Yeah, he big did. dog. That's right. Yeah, we, no, no, yeah, yeah for sure. No, for sure. And that's that's on some real shit. Yeah, for sure. Because I know it's a people for a couple motherfuckers yeah. that would never do that. Yeah, for just course, based bro. off of how they feel. The and ego, how they, yeah. The ego, and and that's why when I went through my shit, I apologize. Why? Because the ego. I could have been like, f all you guys. I didn't do shit. Tiger could come fuck with the homies anytime he wanted. Good, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And this is one thing. After the Tiger situation, there was a lot of Hispanic, a lot of the Lhasa people talking about how, oh, Tiger is good with us. Tiger will, could pull up at any time and fuck with us. How do you think Tiger really want to fuck with y'all after this? Like, Tiger don't want to fuck with y'all after this. Why would Tiger want to pull up on any of you guys and fuck with y'all after this? Like, why? You basically made him waste two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a on, on a video that was tone deaf. Not disrespectful. It was tone deaf. It 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 it, it lacked racial uh, a culture a cult, It wasn't culturally in line with how uh, Mexicans really are. But, but let's get back into the video. But he, you know, <laughs> yes, was, sir. Yeah. So when I heard that. And we had the conversation here on the platform. We just didn't put a title to it and try to get any 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 views off of it, right? Because I knew eventually we were going to get you in the studio. You know, I heard something else that a lot of people didn't hear. And, and I'd like you to explain because if you just look at it raw and just see it in words, you see, oh, I would never sign to a black label, la, da, da. It just seems... It don't seem no type of way. It is what it is. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if he felt that way deep down inside and he allowed that to come out of his mouth, that's how he felt. There's no way. It's like he's trying to do damage control now because he know he fucked up. And this is the wrong place to do damage control. How could you do damage control on a platform that is ha has been built on anti-black rhetoric? Like, how are you going to repair that by using him? But let's go. Yeah, I should have I should have worded myself better. Right. I should have said, look, yeah, we wouldn't sign with no other organization. You know, right. we have our own, you know. Yeah, that's exactly what you should have said. You should have said that I won't sign to a label owned by a crip. I would not sign to a label owned by a blood. Not I will not sign to blacks, period. And you want to do black music. Like, what type of shit is that, bruh? Like, how do you think that is conducive to anything? You're doing black music. No matter how much you Latinos don't want to admit it, you guys had zero to do with the creation of hip-hop. Zero to do with the creation of hip-hop. So anybody that is... Hispanic inside of hip hop is a guest in hip hop, just like anybody that is white inside of hip hop, anybody that is Asian inside of hip hop. You are all a guest in our culture, black culture. This ain't y'all culture. This ain't y'all music. This ain't this ain't got nothing to do with y'all. This wasn't built by y'all. You guys didn't pioneer nothing. You guys seen what was happening? Seen that there was a buzz going on, and y'all latched on to it. And I'm not even saying that there's something wrong with that, but there's a lot of Latinos out there that's talking about uh, 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 hip hop is not black culture, like this American Cholo's homeboy, Bozo. I made a video about Bozo, and I'm going to link it right here. Bozo said that hip hop is not black culture and told me to do my research. Like, what type of shit is that? There's another Chicano rapper talking about do your research. The fuck out of here, homie. You go do your research. You go do your research and you go tell me what did Latinos do to contribute to the creation of hip hop. And I'll wait for that answer. And if you got a valid enough answer, something that I did not know, I would admit it. I'd be like, all right, cool. Y'all got that. But y'all don't. Y'all do not have that at all. There's no way, shape, and form. There's nothing you can say. There's no way that you can approve that hip-hop and Latinos are conducive. You got dumb motherfuckers like Fat Joe and stupid motherfuckers like Busta Rhymes talking about hip-hop was created by blacks and Latinos. But you can pull up all of the 
the the the black pioneers of hip hop and you can't bring up not one thing about Latinos in hip hop in the seventies that pioneered anything, didn't contribute nothing. You got these people walking around talking about uh Latinos was breakdancing. Yeah, in the eighties. They wasn't breakdancing in the 70s. I did a video about that. And I'm going to go ahead. And matter of fact, I was in that that um, that that Bozo video that I linked. That is in that video where I have another video of a guy who was one of the very first breakdancers in hip hop. And he clearly states that Latinos was not breakdancing in the 70s. Latinos was not at those parties, those hip hop parties in the 70s. And that Latinos came a little bit later, the second generation of hip hop. But let's continue. And plus, y'all know the politics to it. I can't speak on it. Right. Should have said it different, whatnot. And, and it's deeper than that. You know, like, as you know, as a boss, you want to be independent. You want to carry your own. You know what I'm saying? Well, was it, is it more? Signing a deal with a black label does not automatically excludes your power in your career. Like I said in my last video, if you construct your deal in a way where you are cool with it, why not sign with a black label just to get your career to a different level? But let's go. Uh... I just want to keep it like in the brown community as far as as far as the paper is that what you're trying to say or um I want to help my people I want to fuck what he was trying to say because he had every opportunity to say it he could have said exactly that nobody would have had a problem like hey man you know I want to 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 you know I I I want to just sign with my people I want to if if I'm going to sign a deal you know I want I want my people to get that money there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that but to say that you will not sign with a black label just because they are black that is wrong bro no matter how you try to twist and tangle it no matter how much damage control that you're trying to do because yeah he's on the damage control campaign as we speak he pulling up with the guy uh with nate dog's son in hell and, and and nobody knows in hell like that i didn't know in hell until i seen the video of almighty suspects slapping the shit out of him I didn't know that Nate Dogg's son had any hand in any type of hip hop. I don't know nothing about that. But Swifty Blue, he got to make it his business to try to do damage control because he know he fucked up. He know he fucked up by saying that. So now he's trying to align himself and try to reword what he said after saying it. And there is another video after he said what he said on the Bullet Kev podcast he went on instagram and doubled down on what he said he doubled down on it i have that video too but i'm not about to get into it but he doubled down on what he was trying to say in the bootleg care video and it wasn't no different it wasn't what he's saying now it, it wasn't even close to what he was he's saying now you know he's saying something totally different it's like he has a whole change of heart it's like he really realized that hey yeah he, he fucked up he probably shouldn't have said that like that but he's trying to say that trying to trying to trying to trying to seem cool or something trying to trying to seem macho or tough or something when you really sound stupid seeing though you are in a black form of music trying to make music and so you sound dumb as fuck but let's go I want to sign other brown artists other you know i want to sign all artists but you know just just how these labels focus on on their people and help right. help you know help whoever they can that's close to them mm -hmm. i want to do the same thing for mine right. so can i help this and like i said there's plenty of black artists that is, is scratching and scraping trying to break out if you don't have it you're not gonna be it so you're saying that they just not gonna they're going to probably basically put you on the back burner and focus on other stuff. That's not it, bro. If you were truly popping, if you were really making the noise that you were making, you were going to be a priority. Because it's all about money. If there's a big opportunity for you to make some money, they're going to make it because money trumps everything. You know, but uh, apparently, but if you if you're if you, you you're a black label and you're trying to trying to do money, then uh, do do money deals, then then it, it's different. But let's go. Ty, can I help the double S? Can I help 
different barrios. Right. You know, can I do that? Can we can we focus on because there's nobody else doing it? You know, like I see. And I I I, I kind of want to know. It's like, how do you think you're you can't do that even if you're signed to a black label? Like I said, if you construct your deal that gives you the power to put on other people, it's like why not take it? So you're just like if, if you were offered a deal with a black label and, and they gave you the opportunity to own the side, do whatever you wanted to do, using this label that you just signed to for other people to to in, in your community to, to elevate themselves. It's like, why not take it? Why limit yourself because of prison politics and you're not in prison? You're on the street. And after the bootleg Kev interview, there were a lot of Southsiders coming out saying, nah, bruh, that wasn't it. If the opportunity presents itself, I would sign to a black label if it was if the deal was right. There's many Southsiders out there saying that. And there's many Southsiders saying that he does not speak for them. But it's just crazy that we got to really keep reminding people like this that you can't shun a whole group of people that created what you are trying to be cre creative in. You're trying to be creative in a space that black people found found it. So you don't make sense, bruh. But let's go. I see people try, but they're not doing that at a major level. Where are the shows for us? You know, like, yeah, not yet. No, who's doing it? Not yet. Nobody. So it's mm -hmm. like. You know, if it takes somebody like me being like, okay, we're going to do this, you know. Boom. But I've always known you to fuck with blacks tough, homie. Yeah, I fuck with them tough. I do records with them. That doesn't mean I'm going to go sign and give them all my rights. Right. You get what I'm Nobody. Here. Go ahead. Nobody is saying to sign to a black label and give them all your rights. There's it like that don't net just because like I keep saying, just because you signed with a label, that does not necessarily mean you're signing all your rights away. There's there's things called uh 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 uh, uh you know that, that uh joint ventures like your company and and another company can can have a joint venture to where you know they could possibly be be the funding and 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 of your your situation and you just kind of pay them back you know that it does not necessarily mean that the black people are going to take control of your career but let's go look i was just and i don't mean to throw the homies business out there like that but like i was just talking to one of my homies and he he's telling me like hey swift he's a he's black he's a brother from long beach Hey, guess who it is I, I bet you it's gonna be the guy in hell but i don't know he don't want to put him put his name out there but i i'm i'm 100 sure that he's probably talking about in hell uh, i've been dealing with with jimmy rancho and 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 i'd rather sign with jimmy than my own people you know what i'm saying snoop dogg ain't doing nothing for me right you know what i'm saying stuff like that i'm not gonna throw his name out there i'm not gonna name drop but coming from the outside looking in man and, and and that's something else i'm just i'm just trying to do something for my people because i know another race most definitely is not going to put me first right and we're going to just cut it there i'm not even about to go look at this whole video because you kind of get what i'm trying to say he's just trying to really do damage control now and kind of like change what he said but whatever was said on the internet it's on the internet for life and it's people that know what you say know what you mean know and kind of know where your heart at we we know where your heart at so i i don't expect swifty blue to elevate his career to a point where you know he's like a really mainstream artist he's just always going to be a local artist like like he's he's gonna have a little buzz in california for uh uh for for a while and then after that little buzz is gonna die out because he 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 he, he is close-minded to to other 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 you know other things so like i said i'm not about to just go through this whole video because you got the gist of what i'm trying to say it's it's just it's strange that we got people out here really saying shit like this and then when the shit hits the fan he gotta 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 double back and 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 retract his statements and say oh this is what i was really trying to say when there's a video of you double downing on what you originally said but like i said i'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and close it here it's the gold mic podcast where the mic is golden this is a podcast i'm your host mark paul 
and I'm out.